look. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm Mark and I cover all things student and this is my 2020 AP score reveal. So first I'm going to give you my predictions and then we're going to get into the reaction part. Alright, so this year I took three AP courses, which were Physics 1, AP Calculus BC with an AB subscore, and AP Chemistry. And I also self-studied AP Lang, which I took the year before, but I got a three. So hopefully I got some redemption on that one. So starting with the prediction for AP Lang, I think I wrote a pretty good essay. There was only one essay required this year, and I'm feeling pretty confident. Then again, last year my teacher said I would get a five, and I thought I got a five, and I proceeded to get a three. Although I possibly think it's because of my handwriting, so hopefully the typed version gave me some redemption because my handwriting is really terrible. So I'm really hoping that I got a 5 on that because it will get me out of college English and I really don't want to take college English. For AB Chemistry, I think I probably got a 5 or a 4, but anything can happen. I felt pretty confident coming out of the test and... I've always been pretty decent at chemistry, so I'm not too worried about that one. AP Calculus, I really hope I got a five because I really love my teacher. I love you, Minister. And I don't know, I just really wanted to get a five for her. That was really the only course I tried my very best on, you know, senioritis, because I just wanted to get a five for her because she's been an awesome teacher. And yeah, I hope I got a five. I think I got a five, but we'll see. AP Physics, my prediction is anywhere between a 2 and a 5. The test was shockingly easy, however my teacher couldn't speak English very well and I just found the course really challenging and he gave out basically free grades, which as you know, does not motivate you to do your very best. So I kind of coasted along in that class and I never really tried my best. So. We'll see, I have no expectations for physics. I could well get my first two or one, or because the test was super easy, maybe I'll get a five or something. I just don't know. All right guys, um, I'm already pretty nervous, as you can see. Um, so I'm on earlyscores.com, that's down in the description, and I'm about to view my scores, I'm so nervous. All right. Uh, here we go. Logging into the College Board website. I don't want to look. <laughs> oh my gosh, why does that have to be so slow? <sighs> Two hours later. Alright guys, so College Board conveniently decided to go down for an hour and 20 minutes. Nice. But I've heard from my friends that it's back up again, so it just drew out the suspense way longer than it had to be. <sighs> All right, I don't know why I'm so nervous. This shouldn't be a big deal. So I'm right now on College Board. All right, guys. All right, guys, here it goes. Oh, it's loading. Oh, don't wanna look. Don't wanna look, I don't wanna look, I don't wanna look. <laughs> oh. Ow. Well, wait a second. What? Oh shoot. Okay, I got a four on chemistry. I don't know why. Why? Okay, well, I mean, I guess it's better than a, well, rip credit, but I, I, yeah, I guess I didn't have to get credit on that. But yes, I got a five on AP Lang. Yo, let's go, let's go. That's good, that's so good. And a five on BC, so I got it for Michelle. But where's my AP subscore? Um, I guess I didn't get the AP subscore. That is not necessarily that great. And I don't know how I got a four on physics one. Did not deserve that four. I did not deserve to pass that course. I had no idea what I was doing. So that's pretty good. Chemistry, I don't know what happened with chemistry. Yo, yo, hey, not bad, not bad. Okay, okay, I'm pretty excited. Yo, okay, I'm so happy that I got a five on AP Calc and AP Chem. I was so nervous. Got a four on AP Chem though. Oh wow. But five on AP Lang, that's redemption. Let's 
get it, let's get it, let's get it. Now I get to read that essay and see how it's good. But anyway, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. If you would like more student-related content, please subscribe down below. And if you like this video, you'll probably like me reading my essay that got me a five on AP Lang, or watching my video on how to get a five on Calc or on English Lang, and some of my other videos like that. So, see you in the next video.